Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and yes, I am making another video. It's been a very, very long time since I last made an actual video. I've been live streaming a lot of Fortnite and I've been live streaming on actually a lot of Minecraft and that is what we're going to be talking about today is Minecraft 1.13, the newest and latest update to the Minecraft world. So as a lot of you guys know that the new update was, I think it was unveiled at Minecon of last year. And I know there'll be a, another Minecon this year, which I shall be documenting and probably live streaming as well like I did last year. So if you guys want to tune into that, hit that subscribe button to be notified when I go live with that. But until then, let's continue with this video. So with this update, you have the aquatics update, which is basically a water update with all things water, sea, all that good stuff. And now today, what I'm going to tell you guys is what's new and what is actually quite cool in this new update. Before anything else, I just want to say all the footage that is used through this is by a guy named log.zip. If you guys want to go subscribe to him, check out his channel, leave a like, then Hit that, hit that link down in the description down below and you can go and subscribe to him. And yeah, I just want to say, uh, yeah, this is all his um, video. I'll link the actual video as well down in the description as well if you guys want to go check that out. But yeah, let's go through some of the new changes that you can find in 1.13 of Minecraft. So the first thing and probably the most exciting thing for a lot of people is the fact that we are getting dolphins in Minecraft. Yes, actual moving dolphins. Now a lot of people might think, oh Minecraft was just a square game, not a lot of things happened. But yeah, we're now getting animated dolphins to come into the game and to roam around a bit. I believe from what I've seen throughout a lot of videos that you can actually ride the dolphins, which I think would be quite cool. Seeing as like with my new beginning series on uh, Minecraft on my channel, you we are in the water, that's where the house is based, but there's nothing actually going on in the water. And I think it would be quite cool to be able to see new things in the water going on. Like if you looked out through your view on the balcony, such as my own house, then you might see like a dolphin fly up into the air and like do a little trick or something like that. Which is actually something that would really interest me a lot. And it's something that would actually make me want to use that balcony a lot more than I originally do. Seeing as now it's just a little uh, piece of... I don't know what you want to call it, just a little architecture to the building and that's something I'm really looking forward to in 1.13. The next thing I want to talk about guys is something that I am actually a bit worried about. Yes, it is undead mobs in the water. As you can see some of the gameplay on the screen right now, we're getting skeletons, we're getting zombies, we're getting new, I think it's like wither as well, I'm not too sure, that are going to be undead and in the water. Now with that, they won't be able to drown, so um, they won't just fall and die. You'll have to kill them yourself. And if you don't have any weapons on you, you're going to be pretty screwed in the water, that's for sure. But I think this is something that will give us a bit more of anxiety in the game and a bit more fear. I think that's something that we need in the game, seeing as now you've only got like skeletons, zombies, creepers and endermen, I believe, in the game at the minute, which can really harm you. And they're all land creatures. And I think now the fact we can have something in the water might actually make us want to play a bit better. It might increase our skill rate as well in the game. And something that will definitely build some type of we need more armor, we need bow and arrows, we need good things like that to keep ourselves alive. Make it an, a proper survival game. So the last thing I want to talk about on this video is the new buffet, buffet world customization thing. Uh, as you can see here, I'm probably going to cut to uh, Mr log.zip to explain this a bit more but with this new thing you're able to customize it with caves you're able to customize the world completely now and i feel that'd be a bit better to make uh series on youtube channels a bit more interesting seeing as a lot of minecraft especially vanilla um gameplay we only get like a standard world where like a blocks are a certain height uh things like that there's not much stuff going on that will make you go wow this is a beautiful world like, yes, we, with the, the series Myonite that featured Syndicate, uh, OMGs, Firefox, Jericho, and Captain Sparkles, we, yes, they, it, the, the world was beautiful in the way that they customised it to be beautiful, but from default, it was not beautiful at all. It's just a boring old island like any old world is on Minecraft. And now that you see you're able to uh, customise the world to make it look a lot more beautiful and a lot more new things like caves and things like that i think that will make the worlds a lot more interesting to play so my conclusion from this guys is that 
Minecraft, I feel, is finally taking the right steps to becoming a more known and more relevant game in the gaming compute gaming community. Like for now, we have Fortnite, and I believe Fortnite will stay number one for quite a while until I don't know something new comes along. But I feel if they increase it, the updates from once a year to maybe a couple of times a year this might keep people active in the game of minecraft but yeah guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this new update of the uh, aquatics update do you like all the new things you like the undead mobs in the sea what do you like what do you hate type thing and yeah i'll be really interested to hear what you guys got to, th got to say leave it down in the comments if you're new around here and you've never heard my voice before hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you did enjoy this video and you're looking excited for the new update, but until next time guys, I'll see you then. But until then, peace.